Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do another writing vlog. For those who are wondering why I did not post a video last week, which technically I kind of did because I did post a short, but um, for an actual video, I didn't post any. And if you're wondering why, it's because I was sick. I didn't film anything that week. I was just so tired and basically stayed in bed like the whole time. So that's why I didn't post a video. But anyway, I have recovered and I am all better now. So I decided to celebrate by filming a writing vlog. So many people love Loved watching the other writing vlog that I had posted and I got so many views on it that I just wasn't expecting obviously I guess in the YouTube world it wouldn't be a lot of views but for me it was a lot of views I think I got like a over a thousand views on that one and I was just shocked so I'm definitely gonna be doing more writing vlogs in the future anyway so that's what we're gonna be doing today and I am going to be writing in my neighbor's arena because my arena at home is just the ground is so hard and it's just not very good to practice in so I'm gonna be heading over there right now so let's go tack up rocker and load them up into the trailer hi Rocky Hi, baby. Are you very hot? Are you so hot? Oh my word. Wait, where's your fly mask? Oh, wow, perfect. I don't know how we were gonna do, set this up, but okay. I'm like sweltering. Let me start it up one second. So hot. I literally hate the heat, guys. Um, it looks so pretty when it's sunny, but I hate the heat. Anyway, I just finished tacking up the horses. Actually, I only tacked up Rocker because I used the same tack for Coach, so I'll ride him and tack him up later. Um, but I brushed on coach and got them all ready. So now I'm gonna go hook up the trailer also very exciting news I got my driver's permit like I don't know a few months ago. So I'm actually able to Drive but I'm not gonna be driving the horses Because I am not ready for that yet, but now gonna... with wood But anyway, I can back up the trailer and hook it up. So I'm gonna do that. I cannot wait though till I start driving because I love driving so far it's so fun i'm trying to itch my head but i can't because of this cap oh my gosh give me a sec my scalp's so itchy i need to shampoo my hair so you guys may be wondering why i'm wearing a long sleeve shirt uh, if it's so hot like why am i doing that it's because i don't want to get sunburnt so what is the reason whoops <laughs> Uh, what's going on? <laughs> I promise I'm a good driver, guys. I don't know what's going on here. We're getting somewhere. Let me see you straighten up. There we go. Whew, gosh, I was like, did I forget how to back up a truck? Okay, let me get out and check this real quick. Oh, oh yes. I mean, look at 
of that. That's pretty perfect. I don't know about y'all, but for my like third time, that's pretty good. The horses are all loaded up, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab Coach's bridle because that's the only thing that doesn't fit him on Rocker's tack. Hey boys, you ready to go? Hey Rocky. Hey Rocky, Rocky always sticks his head up for a treat. Alright, so now I'm just waiting for my brother to hurry up so we can get going because he's driving me over to my neighbor's. So, yeah. So, how do you feel about me driving? Like the trailer? I think I'll be good, a good driver for the trailer. Oh, um, as long as you're not a reckless person. Slow down, it's slow down, slow down. Alright guys, so for this practice session, I'm going to be doing a voiceover just to explain a little bit of what I'm working on. Bear with me because I'm really bad at voiceovers, but anyway, we'll see how this goes. The first thing I like to do before I hop on is stretch Rocker's front legs. I just find if I do this before I get on, it makes him less stiff. So a lot of my riding that you'll see me working on here is all in preparation for FAIR. For those who don't know, FAIR is for 4-H. In 4-H, we usually practice just flat work and learning how to do really slow trots. It is nearing the end of June and FAIR is in August, so I have one month to practice for that. I'm really working on Rocker and his slow trots and canters. Just everything basically slow because Rocker has basically done gaming for his entire life. So naturally, he tends to do faster canters and faster trots. Thankfully, Rocker has never been a really fast horse in gaming. He's been fast, but not like as fast as the champions gamers obviously i'm not a champion i kind of just do this stuff for fun for the most part our trots and canters are pretty good we always do really good in those classes but the classes that we have trouble in is definitely our patterns so here i'm working on a serpentine we trotted it the first time and then we loped it this is our second time practicing this we just learned it so it was a bit on the rough side for those horse riders watching this video i just want to know if you guys rather say lope or canter here we're practicing a little bit of two tracking and I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, but on the way coming toward us, you'll see right here, he did actually really good. And I was literally so happy with him, as you can probably tell in the next clip. Also, fun fact, in Rocker's early stages of training, he used to work with cows on a ranch and did a bit of cutting. So every time he sees cows, he always gets really excited and always loves to stare at them. Anyway, after our riding session, we did a bit of groundwork, um, mostly showmanship. Showmanship is probably my least favorite. I really dislike this and I'm pretty sure Rocker does too. We've always done pretty bad but somehow managed to always place in it so anyway here I'm practicing just a bit of walking and trotting also backing up. I actually did some of this before we started riding but I didn't get on recording and I'm not sure why. We still felt a bit rusty on a few things so I wanted to practice it after I was done riding when he was all worked and calmed down. He was being really sluggish while backing up so I put a little bit more pressure on him. Also guys look did you see that? I don't know if you guys saw that, but his hind leg just moved into place and we were all squared up and I was literally so happy because he literally never does this. Here's me pretending that there's a judge walking around my horse, so I kept switching back and forth. I always find it so funny and hilarious when people do this because I just find it looks weird, but anyway, this is what has to be done, so we did it anyway. Here's us trying to do a haunch turn, I'm pretty sure, but just failing miserably at it. He did square up really nicely, so I'll give that to him. Also, here's me not at my fake imaginary judge we did some more trotting and more backing up and switching sides and just everything we basically saw and at the end i was so exhausted i mean this is literally the face of pure exhaustion 
Even with how tired I was, I still managed to hop on Coach and give him a bit of exercise. Coach is now 19 years old, so I just try to keep him in shape and not him getting fat and lazy. Um, he's mainly used as a trail riding horse. Also, I'm working on him getting his head down. It is a work in progress. I don't know how to just help him to get his head down. So if you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comments down below. I have no idea what it was, but he was so excited today and very antsy. Like, this is so unusual for him. I did a lot of circling, just trying to calm him down a bit. Anyway, after he got his energy out, you can see here he was doing a really nice slow trot. Like I said, my goal at coach is just to keep him trained and exercised so he's not just in the pasture and being lazy. I usually do this at the beginning of our riding as soon as I hop on, which is stretching their neck back and forth. Um, just to also help them stretch out a bit. Also, I did stretch Coach's legs. I just didn't show that. After I stretched him out and made sure he was all loose, I did a bit of cantering back and forth in both directions. Coach is actually my backup horse for fair. In case anything happens at Rocker, I can use Coach. So I was basically working on the same things. I was working at Rocker, just a really slow canter, really slow trot. He doesn't do as slow as Rocker, but um, we're getting there. I don't know if you saw that just now, but Coach always picks up his leads so nicely. He just jumps right into them. And it's so nice that he finally is able to do this. When I first got Coach, we basically kind of had to train him to our style because the other lady that previously owned him it was a different training style, so he has gotten so much better since we have had him. Guys, don't worry, I did tie up Rocker's lead rope that wasn't dangling on the way home. Oh, oh, So the flies have been really bugging um, Coach, so I'm going to be using some swat cream on his belly button and some fly spray. Rocker has been staring at me for like five minutes, just like this, just looking at me. Both ears forward, and I feel so bad. I think he wants a treat, so. All right guys, so I just got back from riding and untacked the horses and gave them their dinner ready. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to stay tuned for next week's video because I'm going to be releasing a vlog in Canada. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.